So what I'm about to say may trigger a bunch of people. I may lose some subscribers for this. Um, a lot of people know where I stand on things that's been following me for a while. Um, it's no secret that I am a white male Christian, straight. Um, there is no uh, secret that I voted for a certain person. But I never actually told you why I voted that way. Um, I know right now it's it's a lot like a lot of people if you say these things you say these things out loud you're going to be hated people are going to dis unsubscribe for you they're going to call you awful things just because you did something that they didn't like now before you hit the unsubscribe button before you hit the dislike button before you type in a big long uh, comment on my comment section let me talk about it for a minute and let me explain myself so a long time ago during my college years my high school years i was an extreme blue pill militant atheist like i was all about it like i you know supported lgbtq rights which today that has not changed still still fine with that uh i didn't like racist so today, I don't like racist. Uh, I don't like actual Nazis. Um, and I don't like a lot of the things that people say um, that are usually tied to, I guess, the right. Uh, I was going to college. I was at Shawnee State University. Uh, I was working for a company as an intern. And Barack Obama was showing up to... Um, Shawnee State University for a speech. I was super into Barack Obama, like loved him, loved him. Uh, I didn't vote for George Bush. Like I voted for Obama. I was excited. I was super happy about it. Like I went and seen him. We cheered. It was awesome. And today, like some people be like, do you still like Obama? Yeah, I still like Obama. Uh, my, you know, some people be like, oh, no, no, I got to get out of here. I know some other people's going to be like, hey, fuck you. Don't say that. Um, but I was, I was, I voted for him twice. Um, you know, like I was really heavy into it. Uh, militant atheist. I would be one of those guys that uh, would be pissed off when I'd stop by Burger King. You know, some guy, a preacher on the side of the road um, spreading the message. And I used to be angry about that and say evil things to those people. Uh, I would see people on social media that was praising God or anything like that or saying they voted for, um, who was it? Who, who was the guy at the time? Mitt Romney um, <laughs> or George Bush. And I'd get pissed off. And, you know, me as a college student just getting into politics, I was just like just really angry, really angry. And... After a while, I stopped getting, I stopped being completely angry. Life kind of took over. Reality checks set in. I voted for Obama twice. Society changed. We became more progressive uh, every single day. Progressivism got um, to new levels of, um, just new levels of height and sophistication and meaning and all that stuff. And... Um, I started to realize, like, okay, why are we turning into this when the things that we like, that we stand for, is happening? Now, 2016 came along, the 2016 election. I had two people in mind that I was going to vote for. It was going to be Andrew Yang, which he dropped out, and Bernie Sanders. I like Bernie Sanders. I really, I still today, I like Bernie Sanders. Um, I wanted to vote for Bernie Sanders well before I voted for Donald Trump. So what happened? What happened? The campaign was going good. We thought that uh, Bernie Sander Sanders was going to be the part. Uh, he was going to be the nominee for the Democrat Party. And he got fucked over by the Democratic Party. And Hillary, Hillary Clinton, I keep on messing her name up, she became the nominee. Well, you know, a lot of things you're like, okay, she's the first woman. She might be the first woman president. But I took a look at the Clintons. And I took a look at the DNC. And I'm like, why are you guys doing this? Like, why are you, um, why did you get rid of Bernie? What was up with that? 
I didn't want the lineage of the presidency go from Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama, Clinton. I was tired of that. Tired of that. You take a look at the the Clinton, uh, the Clinton, the people apparently that got murdered by Clintons or the some things they backtrack on, like Hillary Clinton was against like same sex marriage, uh, same as Joe Biden. He's the same way. He was actually openly racist too. A lot of people don't want to talk about that. Guys, yeah, actually, he's a habitual liar, and there's proof on that too. Um, a lot of proof. I didn't like any of them. I was really I was betrayed by a um <laughs> by the people that i looked up to so what did i do it's like i'm okay i'm gonna vote for trump i don't like trump but i'm gonna say i'm gonna vote for trump and i'm gonna say fuck you for uh doing that to bernie sanders that pissed me off right really pissed me off so a lot of people's like oh you're red pilling now and i wasn't i was like my theory i was like okay president trump's gonna get in there and he's going to make a big mess. It's going to be terrible. And there will never be another Republican president ever again. I thought that. So years go on within the administration. I started seeing good things happen. Uh, also, I seen the bad things where people was making him to be the supreme dictator, Nazi, white supremacist that uh, was doing some kind of uh, trans, trans people genocide, which I, I don't see that happening in the United States. Um, some people say the trans genocide is real. Not here. I don't see people getting thrown off roofs, getting beheaded or caught on fire in the United States. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but I don't see it. Um, I don't see concentration camps made specifically for the LGBTU community. I don't see that. I do see in the Middle East where that happens, um, which is really weird whenever you see... Um, a lot of people trying to uh, express their feelings for the whole Gaza, Palestine, Israel thing. Uh, it really kind of, it's kind of weird to me because I know people out in that civilization, they're not about that. They don't like that community. And today, I really support that community. I like that community. Um, I have no, no problem with it got gay friends i know people are like you can't say you're a homo not a homophobe just because you have gay friends i voted for uh, same-sex marriage to happen i was cool with that still am like if you're gay gay people exist that's just how it's been there's trans people there's all kinds of people but i liked some of the stuff that was happening to america we was putting america first um you know the job market was getting better. Uh, things were cheap. Um, uh, I just felt really good just seeing things, you know, happening for America. We never really take care of ourselves as a nation. And we're too busy concentrating on taking care of everybody else, doing all the foreign wars. Right now, we're giving tons of money to Ukraine um, instead of fixing what's happening here in the United States. Um, some of these big cities are war zones. Uh, a lot of people, mental health issues, uh, we have the job markets really crazy, inflation's out of the, off the chains like Isle of Roof. We have uh, a bunch of illegal migration happening that's for and more people that we can't really pay for that we are paying for. And, you know, I'm, all, I'm cool with integration as long as it's uh, legal. I think that's not a controversial thing to say. Uh, there's a lot of people that come to the United States the right way. They go through the years, the process, and the hard work to become a United States citizen. And what's happening now is we have a bunch of people coming in, and they are not doing that same thing. So it's not really fair to the actual immigrants that come here for a better life. Um, and I'm not saying that the people that's crossing the border aren't here for better lives. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, you know, if we're going to have immigration, we should at least, at least do it the right way. I think that's fair. It's not fair for the other people that came to this country, that's built lives in this country. They came across the sea, across the border uh, to try to make a better life. That's the one thing I really liked about the United States. You know, I see a lot of people saying death to America. Um, it's the only country that I know of 
that, and I'm sure there's other ones um, that I know of, you have the freedom of speech. You have a lot of freedoms a lot of people do not have on any part of this world. You openly hate it, say death to it, and you criticize people that do not subscribe to your ideology. You don't subscribe to the people they follow. Um, you disagree with them, because if you disagree with them, or if you vote a different way, if you're not subscribed to a approved select people, which again, that's communism. That's exactly what communism is. Um, you know, I don't want to be told who I have to be subscribed to uh, or what ideology I have to follow. I like to have my freedom to be myself. And that's a problem right now, right? You try to be yourself, me specifically, I'm a white straight male that happens to be a Christian. I'm not a perfect Christian by any means. I still say fuck a lot, still do. I am a work of progress, but I don't openly hate people. The worst I've done in a while, and I got doxxed for it, was calling Chile gay. A lot of people do. It's, it's fun because it pisses him off because he gets on and he's very sexist and he talks about women like they're, you know, possessions that shouldn't have rights or anything like that. He's mucho macho. And whenever I confronted him and asked him if he sucks dicks, it really pissed him off. It triggered him to the point where he said he was going to have sex with my butt only to prove my point right there live. I've never went after anybody else. Never went after a trans person. Never went after any gay person. Just him. Just him. And somebody saw that, they saw that I said gay, didn't get the context, but they said, you know, if you say the word gay, you're automatically a homophobe. Basically, you know, gatekeeping words. Um, that's a big problem with comedy right now. People can't be funny because they're afraid to say things that they used to say. And, you know, I think that's kind of stupid because comedy is supposed to make us feel uncomfortable. It's always been like that. It's, none of us really hate. If there's comedy that specifically is based on hate and they're actually serious about it, then that's a different story. But, you know, using words like that doesn't really bother me. But some people have are more offended than others. So anyways, I voted for Trump. I actually kind of like some of his stuff, like later on through the years. And I watched the same thing happen again. So I was thinking, I was like, oh, maybe Bernie Sanders is going to run again. I want to vote for him. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. And <laughs> Joe Biden decided to run. And I was like, what's happening here? What's happening here? Why are we voting for this guy? Again, same kind of stuff happened. There was some really good um, people on the DNC. Uh, you have, you know, Kamala Harris, the one that basically made a statement saying recently that no person that has marijuana charges on them should go to jail when she single-handedly in her state alone put almost 2,000 people in jail due to possession of marijuana. Nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody wants to talk and backtrack about Joe Biden on the bad things he's done throughout the years, all the lies he's been caught up in. A lot of people don't like it. Even Obama doesn't even like him. If, if you would have seen it, like Obama, like it took him forever to say he supports Joe Biden. And right now, nobody's supporting Joe Biden. I feel sorry for the man, right? I feel sorry. That guy is gone up here. He can't, you know, he can't, um, <laughs> he can't talk right, which I can't talk right. I stutter a lot. Um he just says things and you can tell they're lies and you see the corruption that's with him. And some people say that's Russian disinformation and a lot of it's right there in front of your face. Uh, but they said the same thing about Trump and some, you know, a lot of it came out that it wasn't true. Um, and that's the kind of weird thing right now is with this whole case. Uh, I think it's still a political thing because it only makes sense. You want to try to, as a political opponent, this close to an election year, you want to try anything you can do to win this race. In this race, we're going to turn Trump, give him what, 34, um, <laughs> they put 34 charges on him. And I'm like, okay, I mean, 
we'll see how those stick. I don't know how it's going to stick. Um, I think both people in the offices were criminals. I think J Joe Biden, I think his son, I think Jill, I think a lot of the people that's running the country, Republican or Democrat, conservative or liberal, uh, right wing, high, you know, left wing, whatever. I don't like any of them. And I'm seriously thinking about not voting this year. Part of me still I'm taking a look at the country. And I'm like, how did we get to this? We're so fucking divided. Like, we're divided as hell. We don't like each other. We openly hate each other. We have people that makes, like, it. they, they wake up early in the morning to be pissed off, to find something to be offended of instead of living their life and be happy. Um, you know, the most I say, I was like, I talk about the cultural war when it comes to media. I'm like, okay, I like playing video games. I like watching movies. I want to watch the stuff that I like. I want to escape. And I use video games as a way to escape. You know, I have severe mental health issues. Like, um, that I've been lately having moments where I just want to kill myself. I want to ram my car into a fucking wall or swallow a bottle of pills. And that's true. I've been having these thoughts in my head. And, like, I use video games as a way to escape. I use movies as a way to escape. Uh, cartoons, TV shows, I love these things. Uh, toys, uh, whatever. But now we're so, like, gaming, especially gaming, and the gaming journalism went from talking about the video games to pushing politics into the video games, even if they're not needed. Um, especially like they do things really hard. They'll make ch changes to establish uh, franchises. Good example would have been Overwatch. Overwatch, when it came out, uh, I think it was 2016, um, there was no mention of sexuality to any of these characters. Uh, nobody asked about it. Nobody cared. You was playing video games. You was playing a team game with heroes. Then later on, a lot of people was like, hey, Hey, there was like a lot of backlash. Why is it that he's not gay? Why is he not trans? Why is he not binary? Why isn't he not a fucking squirrel? Why is he not a furry? Oleg, you piece of shit. Um, why? Why? Then I start pushing it. And I'm like, why are we putting it in there? It doesn't, it's not necessary. It's not, it's not going to change the game. Why are you putting it in there? A lot of people don't want that. And a lot of the uh, gaming journalism went from talking about the video games and stuff to p just talking about politics. Right now, Stellar Blade, uh, that's a good game, it looks like. I bought it. I haven't played it yet. I've seen people play it. People are pissed off because there's a beautiful woman in it. I'm like, I like beautiful women. I'm a man. I like that. It wasn't made for anybody else. Like, you can play it. Like, why are you body shaming? Then... You get onto other people that body shames. You're body shaming somebody or a video game game character because they're sexy. Why can't we be sexy? Why can't women, you know, embrace sexuality? And they're like, it's for the male gaze. I'm like, I know that. It was made for me. I'm a man. I like that stuff. It's it's the how I was born. And there's like this really big push, like, to politicize every single thing everything you hop on x and like i said today got called a nazi i don't know why this guy looks at my profile i don't have anything controversial maybe my pronouns i put on there which i don't care about the whole pronoun debate i think it's silly i don't care about it if you want to do pronouns that's totally up to you that's probably up to you you want to do that then do that I'm not going to tell you not to. I know some people are going to get on there and they're going to be like, fuck pronouns. And there's some people's like pronouns are terrible. This and that and that and that. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I don't have to subscribe to your ideology. I don't have to. I, I don't have to. I shouldn't be forced to do that. I just want to be able to do what I want. Believe in what I want escape from reality without being knocked in the head we hate each other so fucking much a lot of people is going to look at this video in the first 10 minutes they're going to be like you voted for trump you're a piece of shit go away 
they're not going to finish the end of this video. They're going to realize, hey, I'm not going to vote this year. I'm not going to. I don't care anymore. The country's dead to me. We're taking, we're just changing things that don't need to be changed. We're using blanket terms like Nazi because you don't like somebody. Using white supremacists because you don't like somebody. Somebody getting on saying, I hate trans people. They're not real people. People that are openly hating gay people and black people, Asian people. But when you talk about these things, there's one group of people that's going to come after you immediately without even looking into it. They won't study, study your background. They'll say, hey, your profile is this. You follow these people. You're a bad person without actually looking into that. Another thing they do is whenever you call them out on it, they block you. Instead of having a civil conversation, they immediately block you. It's hard to have fun now as a human being in the United States. It might be like that in other countries too. Uh, Europe, Australia, especially Japan and China. Like communism, like really cra crazy. And I have, I have friends that are, you know, they say they're communists. I'm not going to tell you not to believe in that. That's what you want. If you believe in that, fucking do it. Go for it. Go for it. But don't get pissed off at me if I'm not for it. You have that. You're, you have that ability to make the decision you want. And all you have to do is do it. Do what you need to do. Do what makes you happy. Live the life you want to live. Explore. Don't let people push you into things. Don't people pressure you. Don't let people humiliate you because you're trying to find out yourself. That's the beauty about being a human. It's the beauty of the human experience is finding out. There's a funny saying, so fuck around and find out. I believe in that. I consider that as a blanket statement. You find out yourself. You fucked around, you find out. You find the mistakes. If you make a mistake, you found out, and you have to change it. You have to fix the problem. You learned a lesson. And I like that. But we're just too busy hating, and I know, like I said, I put this out, a lot of people are going to unsubscribe in the first 10 minutes or anything like that. I just want you to know that, hey, I don't hate any of these people. I don't hate anybody. I just want to escape. I don't like things pushed onto me. I want to find out myself. I want to discover, I want to discover the human condition. I want to discover society myself. I don't want to be pressured. I give a lot of hell, especially with like televangelists. I don't care for that either. I don't want people to push religion on you. I'm never on this channel. I'm not going to tell you you're a bad person because you don't like Jesus. I can't tell you that. Will I pray for you? Yeah. I'm not a perfect Christian. I never will be. But if you're subscribed to an ideology that you know, I'm not subscribed to, I'm not going to give you hell for it. I might laugh at some of it. I like to laugh at some because some people take it way too damn far. And that's both sides of the table. It's just the way it is. But I'm done rambling. I think I've rambled enough. I think uh, maybe, maybe, um, hopefully you stay with me on this one, okay? I think if you give me a chance and you explain it, maybe you understand. If you don't understand why I did it, if you think I'm a piece of shit, uh, and you think I'm worthless, I understand. That's up to you. That's your decision. That's your decision to make what you think about me. I just want to be honest with you. And the big thing that started this was being called a Nazi. And like I said, I'm deeply offended by that because I know what that word is derived from. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you soon.